The Creality Ender 3 V2, how does it compare to the Ender 3? Hey guys, so today I am unboxing the brand new Ender 3 V2. I'm really excited about this. Uh, this was just supplied to me by um, DIY Electronics for the Black Friday special that they're going to be having this in the, in, for the next week. Uh, this is not a paid video. I just want to really stress that the opinions of this video are my own. And DIY Electronics or Creality have not had a hand in the in, in the video or in anything about uh, the content of this video. I am promoting DIY Electronics because they are my local service provider and they've always given me excellent service. So go and check out their, them out because their products are always well priced. Uh, if you go and check out DIY Electronics website right now, you'll see that they're running their Black Friday special from the 23rd of November right up to the 29th of November. November. And uh, yeah, there's some really great specials on there in the, the Ender 3 V2 being one of the biggest specials they'll be offering on their website. So go check that out and uh, you know, let me know in the comments on what you think of their website and what you think of those guys. Really a great bunch of guys, great service, great quality. They're based in Durban and they ship throughout South Africa. So the Ender 3 V2, what is it? Why is it so great? And uh, what, what is really the big deal about the Ender 3 V2? Before we go on to that, I just want to say that we do weekly tips, tutorials, and reviews on this channel. So if you are new here or you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and click that notification icon to get the latest videos. Uh, and it's free. It's free. So the end of 3 V2, what is so great about it and why Why the V2? What, why um, is, is a new one being developed? Well, the Ender 3 was a huge success. It's, it's actually done incredibly well over the world. It's a very well-priced printer. Uh, it really dropped the price of a lot of printers. So and they were the first guys to, Creality were the first to do an open source printer in China. So that was quite a, a huge milestone for them. And a lot of their printers now are open source and they also uh, do, they do a lot of campaigns to get their products working, uh, to get their products funded and to bring great quality uh, to us, the 3D printing enthusiast. So this Ender 3 V2 is a quite a substantial upgrade on the original Ender 3. It's now got a 32-bit board that comes standard with it, that has TMC2208 drivers. Those two, uh, TMC2208 drivers are make the printer a lot quieter. So you don't hear that, that familiar noise you hear when you hear 3D printers printing. So it, it quietens down the stepper motors and uh, it's just far better quality and also you get better quality prints out then you don't need the the boards in there to to reduce the ghosting and stuff so really a great quality uh, uh, printer it's been upgraded on all the little little things that were upgraded on the ender 3 are now being upgraded onto this ender 3 v2 so really an exciting product and um, let's get on to unboxing it so I'm in this video, I'm going to unbox it and um, we will we'll just uh, quickly assemble it. I'll assemble it in fast time and then I'll publish another video showing the full assembly instructions and how that all goes. But let's see what we get inside the box first. So let's open this up, shall we? It comes neatly packaged, uh, very well packaged, uh, good polystyrene that grips around the boards. You then get uh, your ma your manuals. So inside here, you've got your assembly manual, you've got a warranty card, after sales service, and uh, just a thank you note from Creality, which is always nice. And then a qualified, uh, what? A, a qualified certificate. Okay, I don't know what makes this certificate qualified, but it must have studied very hard for that. All right, so let's have a look at this. So in the box here, we've got the new screen which I'm quite excited about. It's a, it's a nice new improvement on the old Ender 3. Sadly, it's not a touch screen. That's what I've heard. We'll test that out when we power it up. But yeah, that's the screen. Then we have some pots over here. Right, and then we have the extruder. This is the whole, uh, the X gantry, or the Y gantry, and the X assembly, and your extruder. And then over here, we have the spool holder. All very neatly packaged, I must say. Very nicely packaged. So let's rip that out. 
And let's get this printer out of here carefully. Alright, so you get the printer along with the printhead. That usually comes with it. Alright, what else do we have in this box? Ah, we have got more stuff. So there's a second layer. There's some more 20 by 20 extrusions. Aluminium extrusions. You've got your um, your limit switches, you've got some cables, you've got some Bowden tube, you've got a little bit of filament, tiny little amount of filament. Uh, you've got your tensioners, a power plug with a South African power plug on it, more of the X, your scraper, and then the obligatory tools that come with the Creality, which is great. And then this must be the Z axis. I think that is it. No more goodies inside yet. That's it. All right. Okay, let's get that out the way. Okay, guys, so I'm going to quickly put this together and uh, uh, and I'll, I'll hyperlapse it for this for this video. And then for the next video, I'll show how I put it together. So let's put this thing together. This is really, really nice. Let's just double check on the on the power that it's switched over to 220 volts. It is. I'd be very upset if it wasn't, but that obviously comes from uh, Creality, to, not Creality, from uh, DIY. They probably double check that and make sure that it's correct calibration. Okay, everything is plugged in. Let's power this thing up. And there we have it. Straight off, it is booting up. I'll take a video of that boot up shortly. Let's peel this off. Oh, the screen is beautiful. Really is nice. So what I would like to do first is let's just home this. Oh, this is very nice. And there it goes. Away she homes. Beautiful. That took, what, 40 minutes to assemble? Um, which is not bad at all. Do a little bit of cable management, maybe a couple of tightening up, but it is switching on. There's auto homing. I'm not going to heat it up yet, so we'll take that off now. I'm going to look at that. Please don't other operation. All right, I won't operate on anything else. Let's lift it up, move our Y X, our Z. Ah, okay, so it's a slightly different operation to the previous version. You move it up and then you click on to accept the command and away it goes. I want to do a little bit of cable management on here and just neaten up the cables a little bit. But other than that, we are finished installing. Uh, all these, all the, the stepper motors move. It's very quiet. Uh, it's beautiful. You can hear me clearly over the sound of the printer. Uh, the stepper motors all move very quietly. So I'm just going to do a bit of test printing and uh, then we'll come back and we'll see how it's looking on our, uh, on our initial setup. So far we haven't had much problems, it's been about a 40 minute uh, preparation to build this. And I must say things look nice, it's nice that the power supply is on the side here, underneath rather than vertically over here, which is a difference from what it was before. Um, and everything about it, the fan for the... Uh, the, the main board is underneath on the rim on the end of three it's on top on the end of three pro They moved it underneath. There's this lovely little drawer here for keeping stuff in which is I think is fantastic It's lovely to keep all your tools and everything for the printer in there and there we go That's it. So I'm going to come back. I'll come back shortly with uh, uh, After I've managed to just do a quick, a quick print and we'll take it from there. Thanks guys. I'll be back now. Okay, let's quickly have a look at this build plate. So it's got these little clips that clip the build plate on. The build plate is made out of glass. Uh, it's got this plastic that we can just peel off. There we go. So the way the protective film is there. We'll pop this back on. It's actually very nice, neat, clean, beautiful. I'm actually going to enjoy a lot of this printer. 
let's put the clips. Now, you know, the previous version didn't come with the clips. Um, you had to use you had to use the binders, the, the page binders. So what we're going to do now is we're going to quickly do a quick bed level. Um, we'll, we'll just level the bed, make sure that that is okay. And uh, then we'll try a first print. Guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And um, yeah, this is uh, this is our channel that we are building. So um, yeah, we try to do we try to do weekly tips, tutorials, and reviews on this channel. And uh, so if you're new here again, I'm going to push this again. Can you guys subscribe? Most of my viewers are not subscribers, so it'd be nice to get a couple more of you guys subscribing. If you enjoy the channel, let me know and give me a like and give me some comments down below. So let's power this on. Let's do a bed level. We use. Creality's thank you note to do my bed level. So the first thing I want to do is just tighten up all of these screws so that we don't put too much pressure on the head. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got our screen. Um, it's a two color white and blue. And uh, you've got your, your controls. I will go through the controls more uh, when we get into the next, the next part of the video. Uh, what version? Firmware is version 1.02. So that's the uh, the build plate size is 220 by 220 by 250. Uh, we've got our temperature and the basically you can see it's 28 degrees Celsius basically here right now. Okay, so let's do a bit of bed leveling here. That's the first thing. Before you do anything out of a 3D printer, make sure the bed is level. So let's see how this helps us. Let's go to prepare. Uh, let's go to so I want to first preheat. To PLA, you want to get the temperature up on the on the head because of expansion. So let that preheat quickly. That's a little bit disappointing. Uh, in the in the current version of of Marlin, you can go, do it where it will step each corner and you go there. So now with this, you've lost that ability again. So I'm hoping they do that in the update. They need to add that function where it will go to each corner and then you can home it. So what you need to need, do now is you need to home. Um, the the printer get it to the home position and then you physically move the X and the Y. Not my favorite way of uh, leveling a bed, but uh, I thought we were past this, which is a little bit of a pity. So I'm going to auto home now that we virtually add our temperature. So what I suggest you do when you're doing this kind of bed leveling, make sure you keep the paper under the head. It makes it a lot simpler to uh, to. Get the, the paper under. Now we to do our bed leveling, we wait for it to home. So now what you've got to do is go to disable steppers. We're going to move that a little bit forward. That's there. Right, and now we want to get it to nicely just touch. And now as you're moving your piece of paper, I've got another video uh, that I've just released on bed leveling using the Marlin way, but I have got another video on my channel that you can see over trying to think which side it is now. I think it's this side. It's over here at the top corner. There's a, a video on how to level the bed. So I'm not going to go too much in detail over here. Uh, you can go watch that video. Now you want to repeat the cycle to at least twice because it has got a rock of motion. So as you're leveling on the one side, it will lift and drop the other side. So we need to go through at least two, two versions of this. So Creality, if you're listening, please put the, the section where it helps you with bed leveling. Because I think really that needs to be in the code here. All about getting that squish right. So initially you have to do this quite a few times. Make sure you let go of the knob on each successive uh, attempt. All right, there we go. Let's put in our flash drive and see our SD card and see what we've got here. It's still the small SD card. I thought they had increased the size, but it's still the same SD card and uh, USB type. Uh, USB type A, I think it is called. Let's print the dog. Okay, so I've got some uh, some eSun PLA Plus here, which is actually I'm really enjoying this filament. And that fan is a bit noisy. 
I do suggest you do your E-Steps calibration and all of that stuff, the PID, your E-Step calibration. You can look at my video over here on uh, E-Steps and PID calibration. Uh, I think it's a good idea, but for now, I'm just going to, I just want to see how this prints. Let's get a print. It should be calibrated from the factory. And let's do the dog. There we go. So, uh, guys, give it a few minutes and then I will come back and complete this once everything is done. Uh, so far, so good. So our print is done, one hour and ten minutes, does not look bad at all, I'm going to pop it off, there it is, popped off, and man, actually that does not look bad, I will, I'll do another picture of this, this really looks very clean, my word actually, for straight out of the box, um, yeah, this has come out very, very clean. Um, Gosh, color me impressed. So uh, at first glance with this printer, um, impressed with the build quality, the printer looks good. Let me just move it out the way a bit. The printer looks good. There's a, a couple of upgrades that they've done here with the extruder here, which has got the, um, it's not the dual extruder. No, it's not. So that's still the same kind of extruder it had before, but it's got the little knob. Um, this, the screen has been improved. It's a color screen. Uh, you've got your little drawer here, and then you've got your, your tuning knobs. So in all, um, it looks like the machine is sort of like what the Ender 3 was supposed to be. It was a, It's a more refined machine. So yeah, for the initial uh, look of it, I'm very impressed with it, especially with the first print. This first print came out really well. So uh, really impressed, and... Um, what I'll do is I will do a, another week of this. I'll play around with it for a week or two and uh, do a couple more prints, do some prints in ABS and see how that goes and just generally see how the printer handles and uh, I'll report back soon. But for first impressions and unboxing, yeah, not bad at all. Well done, Creality. This, this looks like a much more refined machine and uh, I am quite impressed. Again, thank you to uh, DIY Electronics for supplying the machine and for their support and over the time and um, we the the videos on the screen that you see now are more about the ender the ender 3 the original ender 3 and a couple of other things so i'll see you in those videos and thanks for watching have a great day god bless and see you soon cheers